In the heart of a major city like downtown Long Beach, it's very unusual to find an urban organic garden like this one. And we're the co-managers of the First in Elm Community Garden here in the East Village of Long Beach. And it became a community garden through the efforts of Charlie Moore. It has since become our project as the First in Elm Community Garden. There's a few things we focus on being certified as a wildlife habitat. We try to do a focus on native California plantings. So we've got a native California application right here. Also as a monarch way station, what we do with that, we have host plants, which is California milkweed, which is a host plant for the monarch caterpillar. Uh, the caterpillar eats down the plant completely. It's a perennial, doesn't hurt the plant, it grows back. Um, that's the only plant that the monarch uh, caterpillar live off of. The tiny little uh, caterpillars have to find the main vein and cut it. Otherwise, if they just bite into the leaf, the um, milk will go over the caterpillar and actually kill them. Um, the monarch butterfly or caterpillar doesn't have a lot of uh, natural predators because they eat the poisonous plant, therefore it makes them poisonous. And once they do form a chrysalis, from that point it takes 10 days before they emerge uh, a butterfly. We said earlier about getting your yard or your balcony certified as a wildlife habitat, and you only need four elements. You need water, food, shelter, and a place for uh, them to raise young. It can be um, insects, it can be hummingbirds, uh, it can be any kind of critter. You just have to have those four elements. And like I said earlier, you can do that in a little space like a balcony. Um, but that's also uh, serving the environment, being interdependent, and helping everybody.